Hello, and welcome to another guided meditation. In this session, we are going to explore how we may do things better. Each and every day, we have a certain number of skills that we experience over and over again. Yet somehow, we'll get locked down to habits, habits that don't serve us, and that lands us in a stalemate. That stalemate allows us to remain in one spot, not to advance, to be stagnant. Now, there are ways in which your mind can work to produce better results, to do things in a better manner that will allow you to excel in everything that you do. And that excelling will bring you to a new level of awareness. Now, I would like you to take a comfortable position and allow your mind to be free of all distractions, everything that may take away from your concentration must be removed. This way we can concentrate on establishing boundaries at which we can comfortably work. So turn off your cell phones, lower and dim those lights, and take a comfortable position. Make sure that you will not be disturbed in this space. And more importantly, do not listen to this recording while driving or operating machinery. This is designed to guide you through a meditational process that will enhance your capabilities and help you to excel at whatever endeavor you are in. Now, we are going to close our eyes and allow a sense of relaxation to come and help us become more relaxed. And we breathe in. and hold our breath and release very slowly. Now, I would like you to bring your attention to how you felt as soon as you released that breath. It's probably one of the first breath that you consciously took today. And that breath will give you the guided meditational principle, which is to concentrate on that one fundamental thing that will help you to go through the stages where you can access the unconscious part of your brain. And for that, we must first begin by opening the doors of our consciousness through our experience of the body. Make sure that you are relaxed. And for that, we cannot relax the whole body at once. We must bring our attention to each and every muscle that has direct connection to our sense of existence, our sense of being whether it's your neck muscles, whether it's your back muscles, whether it's your leg muscles or your arms, they hold tension because we are moving creatures. We move through our daily lives containing tension. That tension helps us to do things. But right now, in order to access the recesses of our unconscious mind, we must allow attention 
to gather to those places where tension has built up. So let's start with the very fundamental part, which is your forehead. Now we frown, we smell, we express our emotions through our facial expressions. And our forehead contains the most of those tensions. Because as our facial muscles move, we build tension. And that has caused over the years for us to have lines on our faces. Imagine removing as much of those tensions as possible. To remove everything that may possibly inhibit, inhibit us from going deeper. Bring your attention to your forehead and let those muscles relax. And each and every time those muscles relax, you'll find yourself more and more at peace, more and more together as your consciousness is allowed to drift down and deeper through the relaxation of your muscles. And as you allow those relaxation sensations to drift down to the, your eyelids and eyeballs and your cheeks, you can sense that this relaxation actually helps to feel more and more relaxed. Relaxing those muscles is the first stage in finding the doorway that leads to unconsciousness, unconscious processes that operate beneath your conscious mind. You are so programmed to operate on the conscious level that we often feel and miss out on the most elemental part, which is to allow our unconscious mind to operate at its full capabilities. Let your jaw muscles relax. Let your nostrils relax. Let your mouth relax. And as you do so, feel the breath that you are taking in slowly, deeply, and carefully notice how that deep breath allows you to find the most intimate parts of your muscles, the muscles that you never really thought about, but your body knew and controlled through your unconscious processes, the muscles that you are not aware of consciously are controlled through unconscious processes like your heart, your lungs, your eyebrows, even your tongue are perfectly aligned to bring you all those things that allows you to find all that you need. Now, Allow yourself to drift down deeper as you bring your attention to your ears and your scalp. And when you do so, you might just discover that you are more relaxed and have drifted down and more concentrated. Because your mind can drift between the relaxing of your muscles and your breath and back to relaxing your muscles. In the circular motion lies the drift of consciousness. Consciousness that leaves your unconsciousness to operate at the surface. When you are able to listen and hear more of yourself, of what your body is trying to communicate with you. 
And as it does, you can find ways in which your mind can find peace. And this peace will allow you to find the deeper recesses of your mind, your unconscious processes which operate beneath all your conscious thought. Now, as you allow your relaxation to continue drifting down and allowing your muscles around your neck and shoulders and back relaxing, you can let it go. Let go of all the tensions, all the frustrations, all the angers that have gathered like the ebbing of the tides that move from the shores of your consciousness away to the sea where unconsciousness can be unfathomably large and strong and can find peace like a drop in an ocean that just blends with everything that your conscious mind has not yet found. And letting your conscious mind to just drift away allows your sea of consciousness to overtake everything that has held you back and come up with processes that operate far beyond anything that you have imagined because within you holds all the resources that you ever needed to become better and better at whatever you do. And as your relaxation sensations move through your body, to your arms, to your feet, to your legs, you can become consciously aware of how relaxed you have become. At that very moment where your consciousness have drifted down to deep, comfortable stages, you'll find that you are at the border of sleepiness, yet wakefulness that has the borderline that lets you to cross over to the unconscious state in which you'll find the necessary tools to become at whatever you do, whether you're playing a game whether you're doing some sports, whether you're just driving a car, you can be more and more conscious of the processes that go on, yet letting those consciousness go and allowing those unconscious processes to take over allows you to to find the necessary tools to improve. Because as you drive a vehicle, you are thinking more than just one thing. You can be conscious of the driver in the next lane and the driver behind you and the distance of the vehicle in front of you and the speed of your vehicle and which gear that you are accelerating in and also the position of the pedals and you can find that you are doing more than just driving now that all cannot be done consciously it has to become an unconscious process in the unconscious process lies habits and some of those habits may not have served you as best that is good for that very reason, you are going to remove those conscious processes that have caused you to doubt your very best. And we are going to install better and more resourceful strategies and tactics into making you a better person help you to excel at whatever you do. Now, go back to that process that which you thought was difficult. Imagine yourself doing it. 
Imagine yourself doing whatever you would normally do. If you feel tension, experience the tension. If you're experiencing a thought process, let that thought process run. And as you notice all the things that have not served you, take a mental note because you are about to change all those processes that have now served you. You are going to be able to remove every single one of those things, whether it's tension, whether it's frustration, or a process that you felt was not serving you, whether it's anxiousness, whether it's frustration, whether it's anger, we can all remove that because we are one giant learning machines. We learn through our experiences, through our intelligence, through of what we see and what we mimic and what we try to duplicate from the environment around us. Now, as you experience yourself doing whatever you are doing, remove yourself from the experience and watch yourself from the outside doing whatever you are doing. See yourself experiencing those ex emotions, watching as, as a third person. Ah, and now think about how that feels. Now we are going to help that person that you're looking at, which is you doing th something that you thought was difficult. And now, imagine yourself doing everything right, everything calmly, concentrated, with ease. Imagine what somebody who was so good at doing whatever you were doing, doing it driving a car. Imagine a very good race car driving the car. Carefully notice everything that he might have done and you are actually doing it. How that would be so easy. Now your unconscious mind does not know the difference between what you have imagined and what you have experienced. Because the difference is what you imagine you create. That is also written in the Bible. What you fathom shall manifest in reality. So let us begin by imagining doing things right and remembering in each and every step of the process that we go through. Imagining how we breathe, how we do, how we feel and seeing ourselves doing it helps us to see that we can actually do it in real life. And allow yourselves to become a more and more conscious of our mistakes so that we may tell our unconscious mind to help us do things better and in the process allow our unconscious mind to help us and guide us to the most difficult parts of our endeavors. Now I would like you to think of something else that you do so well, so with ease. It may be the most easiest thing for you. And that, imagine how you feel. See yourself doing it. Feel yourself 
doing it. How does that feel? Does it not feel relaxed? Does it not feel comfortable? Does it not feel like it's the easiest thing in the world? Yet for someone who does not have your skill set, might feel that is something difficult. Now, that is what we call relativity. What you have thought was difficult at doing might be the easiest thing for someone else. In that process, we have to just find that all things can be done with ease, with relaxed state of mind and calmness. And that is the prerequisite to doing everything right, even under the pressure and the duress. Because years and years of training in military, in pilots, have resulted for them to be keeping calm in the most difficult circumstances. And it's for this reason we must learn from the very best. And that starts here as you go through each and every stage of consciousness leading to unconsciousness and finding that each processes that you have built over time has come through learning. And if you alter one process, that you can actually make everything better. And if you do something calmly, in a relaxed state of mind, you will actually perform better. That's why it has been said, make haste slowly. That's right. Making haste does not mean rushing slowly, calmly, with full concentration. That is the process. Even when a baseball player is about to bat a hundred mile hour ball coming, he concentrates. He sees the ball slow down as he makes contact with that ball and sends it out of the ballpark. That, my friend, is called a home run. And you too can score a home run with your activities, making sure that you have done things right. You can imagine whatever seems to be difficult is slow down in your mental processes so that you can see in every bit and every moment in a slow manner how the process just unfolds itself and through that you can find that you are able to deal with everything easier and more calmly. Now some of you may question how can I slow down time? When you have done so have you ever waited in a place and felt that the time was not moving? Have you ever had circumstances where you were having fun? Time just flew by. That's right. That's why it's cold. When you're having fun, time flies by. It is time in our experiences that is relative. And relativity is what makes everything possible for us to experience at our own pace. And if you feel that you can slow down time as you do in something, then you are able to see each and every moment. 
dissecting it till you find that you are able to deal with everything at your own pace. Even a bullet fired from a rifle can slow down in your mind as you can travel with the bullet towards the target and see it strike. Now that, my friend, is called imagination. Your imagination in your unconsciousness is unfathomable. It is so powerful that it can actually stop anything in mid-motion to allow you to think before you act. And acting before thinking is the best process because your unconsciousness is able to follow each and everything that is happening in real time. Now I want you to bring your attention to that part of your body that has that sensation. Feel the feelings that you feel. Feel the muscles that would otherwise operate. And you have a mental connection to the activity that you pursue. And that activity can be a very difficult one, yet become easier easy, and easier as you go through it in your mind, slowing it down to the point where it seems like you can actually control it. And once you can control an action in your mind, then becoming conscious of it, then you are able to control everything that happens when that action is to take place in reality. Now, concentrate and let your unconscious mind take you deeper and deeper as I speak to you. Because the deeper that you go, deeper you shall find that you have opened the hallways of your unconsciousness where all that you know and have experienced lies. Even the things that you do not remember from the earliest days of your childhood are stored there. It's just, it's in a place that's dark and dim. Only you can light the way to find all that you need. And what you do not need, you can let it just sit there, aging like the good wine, yet yet serving you whenever you need their assistance. Now, you also need to allow your mind to organize all that you see and experience in a logical, concise manner so that your mind is clear on everything that you do, everything that you experience, everything that you experience and learn can be a useful tool in you becoming better and better at what you do. You can hear someone speaking and that person can give you the greatest, the greatest idea which you can implement in your own life. Sometimes when you're traveling through your day and you are seeing and experiencing things, you can pick up those things that serve you, that give you direction, that help you to become better and better at what you do. Excelling at what you do that makes you a better person. And becoming a better at what you do is called success as a human being. That's right. Success comes through becoming better and better at what you do. Whether you set a goal or not, it is a process 
which you must come to terms with, knowing that your unconscious mind is in charge at all times. That is the reason we go through this process. This is why we are going through this guided meditation. When we look at something and see far beyond what is before us, we see all the processes that have brought us there. We can go through our day and remember the moments that make up our day. We can even remember the taste of certain things that we eat, a touch, a smell, a process, a word that can all help our unconscious mind to bring and to to gathering, to maturation, the processes that we felt were difficult and improve upon those. Now, I want you to go even deeper because going deeper allows your deeper mind, the unconscious mind, to find everything that it needs. Now, as you relax with each breath, going on deeper and deeper, I would like you to imagine yourself getting into an escalator that travels down and down and down, deeper and deeper, longer than you have ever seen. Yet you do not know what lies ahead, yet your unconscious mind knows that going deeper is the best way to find all the answers that you need. You don't have to tell your unconscious mind what to do. Your unconscious mind is able to come up with the best possible procedures, the best way to learn and to improve. All you have to say is, I want to improve in this one thing that I want to do better. And so your unconscious mind is programmed to go ahead and find its resources around so that it can put into progress everything that is needed in achieving those goals. And as you travel down those escalators, you can see the colors can see all that is changing and it can take you to places that is beautiful, it's as magnificent as it can be, it could be your favorite place. And as you allow yourself to drift deeper and deeper and deeper, your unconscious mind becomes more and more powerful because it knows that you are actually making contact the most inner part of your mind, one that has more power than anything that you have ever fathomed. Those things that control everything, even the dilation of your pupils, even your breath and the heartbeat and your body temperature, is all there within the human body's knowledge. And don't you think that an unconscious mind that can do all these things so easily can also help you to find resources to help you to perform better. Now, my friend, we are talking about something that is almost a gift that every person is born with. But to the degree that we learn to use our consciousness is what gives us all that process, all that we need. Now, take a deep breath in and let go. Going deeper and deeper and deeper. Relaxing more. Finding. 
as you travel deeper and deeper, allow your unconsciousness to drift down and down and come to that favorite place that you could possibly imagine. See yourself there. Feel what you would feel. That's right. Does that feel relaxed? Does that feel calm? Does that feel wonderful? That's right. That's right. In this supreme sense of relaxation, you can feel just about everything. You can feel the sensations at the bottom of your feet. You can even feel your heartbeat. You can feel the back of your ears and your skull, which only help you to go deeper. Yes. In this unconscious state lies all the resources because you are become more and more aware of yourself and the environment around you. Nothing would escape. Nothing would just let go. That's right. Let go, let go, and find yourself the utmost comfortable state. And now allow those resources to be gathered and ask your unconscious mind to help you to become better at it. Say in your own words to yourself, inside your unconscious mind. My unconscious mind guide me to become better on whatever thing that I choose to do and help to gather those resources that I need to become better at what I do. That can extend to every single element in your mind, because your mind, when it does something with ease, stand free to be able to do other things, because your consciousness can then drift to those things that need your attention. And when you arrive to those things that need your attention, and you can allow your unconscious mind to take over those processes so that you can do them better and better and better each and every single day. And that, my friend, is called excelling at what you do. Excelling at what you do is the first step in becoming better as a human being because we all do some things better than others yet those things that challenge us are the things that help us to learn and experience life fully that's right you experience life more fully as you overcome those obstacles because if everything was too easy, that you would not be able to learn everything that you need to learn and appreciate the things that come at a price. That's right. When you are mastering an art, whether it's a sport, whether it's an art form or a skill set, it takes practice takes hard work so that your mind can tell your unconscious mind that this is something I want to be good at. And you gather resources one after the other and 
until you are able to become a master at it. First of all, consciously have been thinking about certain things and you will become better and better as your unconscious mind picks up those skill sets but you are not have to be in the game but your unconscious mind will be there to guide you without thinking without going to your conscious processes you just become an element an extension of your unconscious mind that's why when a batter steps onto the plate to pit for the pitch knows that if he used to think about the ball then he would miss the ball but if it's the unconscious mind following the ball then he can see the ball come and know exactly when to swing the bat to find the sweet spot that will send that ball out of the ballpark or that home run that's right you can score your own home run and all you need to do is to let your unconscious mind control the processes that need improvements and more resources that can only be gathered by your unconscious mind because your unconscious mind knows exactly what you need and it will pick it up as you go through your day you can even become better dealing with your friends, family with your co-workers because through those resources you would know what to say when to say it and how to say it because everything that human being can do can be improved because we are one giant learning machines and as we learn we become better and better and better at what we do and it's for this very reason I always say listen listen and listen to your unconscious mind and in order to do that must quiet that talking bird of what we call the consciousness because it has judgments it has opinions it has everything that blocks you from learning from experiencing to fully comprehending all that's around you your unconscious mind once you have opened the gates has all the answers does not judge does not opinionate it knows all that has taken place and it gives you all that you need through go through everything that you have experienced that's right going in deeper and deeper into an unconscious state with each and every breath you take with each and every word you hear now and the future whenever you hear my voice whenever you hear my words you can easily bring yourself to this level of relaxation and go even twice as deep with each word because your unconscious mind can also be trained as you have learned the alphabet when you were a child as you have learned how to walk your mind can also be trained to respond so that you can access those unconscious processes in your mind and now 
forever. We can keep those skill sets by just listening, by knowing and recognizing. This unconscious state that you have become so relaxed by listening to the suggestions, by listening to this voice. And each and every time you hear it, you can go deeper and deeper. And if at any point in time you feel that you need more guidance, more assistance, can give me a call, tell me what holds you back so that we may remove those obstacles that will be specifically geared to resolving those issues. And you can do that so easily. If not, you would find yourself that these guided meditations Hypnosis sessions serve a great deal in helping you because they are out there free of charge for you to find all that you need, all that you need to experience your unconsciousness. At times we falter, we fall, and that's the time when we need to find better way to deal with things. That's when we can turn to these recordings to help us, to help us become better at what we do, to remind us that we are greater than what we have been. And if at any time you need more assistance, you can always find me to help you. And by listening to these tapes, these recordings over and over again, you can actually improve your unconscious abilities to recognize states of unconsciousness that help you to excel at what you do, to become more and more successful with everything that you do. And this it's called learning, excelling. This is becoming a better human being. And I say it is allowing your unconsciousness, knowing that unconscious states are there, whether you know them or not. Or do you allow and talk to your unconsciousness? Yet they exist, and allowing the, those processes to operate beneath the surface has allowed us to know and find doorways at improving at what we do. It's the breaking away of the bad habits and replacing them with the good ones. It is retracing all those processes that allow us to become better at it, better at what we do. Now you too know what you need to do. And these tapes, these recordings are just one of those tools. In your daily life, you can take a few moments every day to sink down to this level of consciousness and allow yourself to gather your thoughts, your focus, your concentration and emerge only to find yourself happier and more focused so that you can handle those stacks, those obstacles ahead of you you can easily clear them away and you can easily overcome anything that may seem more challenging than before. That is 
gaining new skill sets and your unconscious mind training it is the best skill set you can develop over time as for this very reason I say this that you should concentrate on allowing your unconscious mind and processes to operate more fluidly more easily more efficiently so that they become your friends your allies in bringing you better results and as you travel through those steps those escalators that lead you to your favorite spot and you feel more and more relaxed and focused that my friend is called heaven that is paradise because happiness and joy lies within the deep realms of your unconsciousness that's how we are able to experience life true steps that lead us to remember what is happiness, what is sadness, what is joy, what is peaceful. And we can pretty much choose those experiences that bring us happiness and joy by simply allowing our unconscious mind to be directed to those experiences like those places that you find peace and comfort, those places that we have constructed in our minds where we can actually feel whole, complete, at peace, where we will not be disturbed by anything outside of the realm that we have created. There only exists what you can put direction of your unconsciousness that is power my friend power to direct your thoughts power to find all the things that give you joy all the things that help you to excel at what you do and you can do that easily as I do so, and I count from 10 to 1, I would like you to go deeper and deeper into each number and imagine it in a space that is beautiful that you see these numbers. And as these numbers fade away, imagine yourself going, growing more unconscious, more relaxed deeper and deeper that you are going and ten having it erased and gone nine and fading away now eight that's right eight just disappearing seven that's right that two fades away and six that's right all gone now Five, you're halfway there to the deepest realms of your mind. Four, your unconscious mind at full charge now, going deeper and deeper. And three, that's right, that's beautiful, beautiful. Two, that's almost as deep as you can possibly go. But there is even deepness that's, that's deeper and deeper. One, and that's good and zero that's right you are so deep your unconscious mind enjoys this that's what you will remember each time you hear my voice that's right i will allow you to experience this calmness for a bit Deeper we go, deeper and 
deeper. That's right. Let it drip down. That's right. Becoming more and more relaxed. Deeper and deeper. That's beautiful. And every time I say sleep, unconsciousness, yet you're unconscious, you can go twice as deep each time because there is no limit to how unconscious you become. Really unconscious. In a moment, when I count one to ten, you shall be able to resurface and return to your environment. Only when I reach number ten will you be able to do so. Only, only then you would want to open your eyes. Only then. So I'm going to count a moment, as I do with each step, let a sense of calmness, joy and peace gather momentum and you feel it with each number as we go up, one, two, three, Four. That's right. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. That's right. You can allow your eyes to open. Enjoy the environment that you're in. Feel the relaxation. Enjoy this relaxation for a bit longer. And then, when you're ready to move, let that sensation travel with you. Where you are more concentrated and relaxed. And if you feel the desire to continue experiencing this relaxation or to even drift to sleep, let it do so because you will find that you are sleeping deeper or pronouncedly as your unconscious mind is able to process everything you heard in this recording. And I thank you for listening to these tapes, these recordings. I invite you to listen each and every week as we post more of these recordings for you to improve as a person, as a human being. And I highly recommend that you tell someone that you know who might benefit from these recordings so that they too will listen and improve. As a human being, I wish you much happiness and joy.